Niagara Falls. Everyone dreams to see Niagara Falls at least once in their lifetime. Every year, about 14 million tourists visit to see Niagara Falls and explores this wonder. It is a geological wonder and one of the most famous waterfalls in the world, straddling the border between the United States and Canada. It has been a popular tourist attraction for over 200 years, as well as a major source of hydroelectric power. Today, we will be exploring and talking about amazing and fascinating facts about the Niagara Falls. Welcome to Misty Box. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then please do subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified every time. Location Niagara Falls is a group of three waterfalls at the southern end of Niagara George, spanning the border between the province of Ontario in Canada and the state of Newark in the United States. The largest of the three is Horseshoe Falls, also known as Canadian Falls, which straddles the international border of the two countries. Horseshoe Falls, with a length of 2,600 feet and a height of 167 feet, about 681,750 gallons of water, flows over the Horseshoe Falls every second. The Smaller American Falls and the Bridal Veil vale Falls lie within the United States. Bridal Veil vale Falls are separated from Horseshoe Falls by Goat Island and from American Falls by Luna Island. American Falls and Bridal Veil vale Falls, with a length of 1,060 feet and a height of 176 feet, about 75,750 gallons of water flows over the American Falls and Bridal Veil vale Falls every second. Both of the islands are situated in Newark. Source of Water have you ever wondered, where does all this water of Niagara Falls come from? How does it never run out? I think we have all wondered how one of the biggest waterfalls in the world never gets tired. The fresh water that plunges over Niagara takes around 685,000 gallons, which means 2.6 million liters of water from four great lakes, Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron and Lake Yari. In fact, one fifth of the world's fresh water is found in these four great lakes. Once it travels over the falls, it travels from the Niagara River to Lake Ontario and from there, it makes its way down to the St. Lawrence River and eventually to the Atlantic Ocean. Discovery Native Americans living in the region were most likely the first people to behold the power of Niagara Falls. After that, Niagara Falls was discovered by French explorer Father Louis Hennepin in December 1678. He was the first European to document the area. He was a Belgian Roman Catholic priest. The region soon became a French stronghold, as forts were built at the mouth of the Niagara River. Formation Niagara Falls was formed starting more than 12,000 years ago at the end of the Ice Age, when large torrents of water were released from the melting ice draining into the Niagara River. The water plunged over the edge of the Niagara escarpment to what is now known as Western Newark. Eventually, the force of the water overwhelmed the rock layers and Niagara Falls moved to upstream, reaching its present location. Year after year, the formation continues with annual freezing and thawing of the Niagara River along with gradual erosion and periodic rockfalls. Remedial work has been completed to preserve the falls and the volume of water has been reduced by diversion for hydroelectric power. Hydroelectric power. Not only are the falls themselves powerful, but the city of Niagara was the birthplace of hydroelectric power. In 1896, Nikola Tesla developed the alternating current system, which allowed for the transmission of power generated along the Niagara River to homes and businesses. The Niagara George Discovery Center from which electricity was first sold as a commodity. Today, power plants on both the American and the Canadian side of the falls produce nearly 2.5 million kilowatts of electricity. Let's talk about some interesting facts of Niagara Falls. Number one, it is believed that the word Niagara is derived from the Iroquois Indian word Onguera, meaning the strait. Number two, there is an international boundary between the United States and Canada. Number three, before the invention of film, tourists would sketch pictures of the falls. Number four, the floor was also halted over both falls on March 29, 1848, due to an ice jam in the upper river. Number five, the movies Niagara and Superman were filmed in part at the falls. Number six, 
When crews shut down the force in 1969, they found two bodies and millions of coins, most of which were removed. Number 7. In the past 15 years, two daredevils lost their lives trying to conquer Niagara. Number 8. The first person to go over the falls in a barrel and survived was a 63-year-old female school teacher. Number 9. 20% of the world's fresh water lies in the Great Lakes and most flows over Niagara Falls. Number 10. It is illegal to make an attempt to go over the falls and those who do so are fined $10,000. Number 11. The falls have only ever stopped once in 1848 for 30 hours when ice fields from Lake Erie jumped at the source of the river. Number 12. More than 168,000 cubic meters or 6 million cubic feet of water go over the Horseshoe Falls every minute during peak daytime hours in the summer. Number 13. An estimated 5,000 bodies were found at the foot of the falls between 1850 and 2011. On average, between 20 and 30 people died going over the falls each year. The majority of deaths are suicides, and most take place from the Canadian Horseshoe Falls, and many are not publicized by officials. Number 14. The current rate of erosion is approximately 1 feet per year, down from a historical average of 3 feet per year. According to the timeline of the far future, in roughly 50,000 years, Niagara Falls will have eroded the remaining 32 kilometers to Lake Erie and cease to exist. That's all for today. Hope you have enjoyed today's video. Keep your eye on our channel for more great contents like this. Thank you so much for watching and if you have enjoyed the video then please let us know by hitting the like button, do share, write a comment and subscribe to our channel so that you can catch up our next video.